is here we have Slow Mole being played on NES. Uh, this game is done by Eric Rosenlund. Um, so this is a game that's free to play through itch.io. You can download it to play on your favorite emulator. Um, there's going to be cartridge coming for both Famicom and NES at some point. So there's that to look forward to. Um, this precision platformer is tough as nails. So we've got easier and we've got normal. I'm going to play as normal here. So you have to beat the clock in order to earn a checkpoint. And that is a lot easier said than done. I mean, yeah, initially it's pretty easy, but it gets difficult, to say the least. So I really like the graphics. Um, graphics look really nice for an NES game. And the music is really is done really well too. Um, it's not something that gets annoying or grating or repetitive. It's something that's really nice to listen to and definitely a great addition to the game overall. Um, I've been following the game s since early development over on Twitter, um, and I, I love to see what, what this game started out as, as being and what it's become um, in its final form. And that is a great, a, a very good, uh, very good platformer. Um, it is extremely difficult, as you can see. Uh, but it is a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, I think it did a really great job with this game. all about pattern memorization and precision platforming. And for that, I love this game. Oh, I should have just kept going. I have a feeling I would have died though still. There you go, that's what I should have done. I could have kept going there, but I decided not to. Wow.
Like I said, a lot of uh, precision platforming for sure. Despite how difficult this game is, um, it's still a lot of fun. And it's a game that I would highly recommend if you're a fan of, of platformers at all. Um, and you're up for a challenge. This game is definitely for you. And again, it's free to play. Uh, I think that's really awesome. It's a very challenging game. It's fun. It's, uh, it's a great time. Oh. So, uh, like I was saying, this game is coming to uh, the Famicom and the NES as a physical cartridge at some point. So, there's that to look forward to. I cannot wait to see this on cartridge. Um, I'm hoping to get a review copy of this game on cartridge. Um, if I do, I'll definitely be doing a video on it. Um, if not, that, no, that's fine too. Um... I definitely understand these things are, you know, eliminated and, and all that. Now, if you do get this on cartridge, uh, I would highly recommend <laughs> um, playing this on something you can use save states on. If you intend on, on beating at some point, unless you have, like, a weekend to just kill and... You just want to play nothing but this for an entire weekend, and that's then that's fine too. You know, you have that option. <laughs> no, and, and, and uh, in all fairness, this game's amazing. And I am uh, very happy that this is that this has come to the 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 uh, community. It's a fun game. It's I mean I keep saying that, but it's true. Now, this game is a lot of fun. It's just a very tough game. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. I barely got that. Here we go. Alright, so now I got that checkpoint. <sighs> this, this part is just so hard. I mean, it's doable, but... I gotta do the second, the second one. Oh, and not get stuck up there either. No, oh, come on. This is so hard to do in seven seconds. I did it though. <laughs> I did it. I did it. It only took me like almost 10 minutes, but I did it. Here we go. Here's the sewer part. Platforms last about two seconds, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> I should have just st st stayed put. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's gonna happen. Ooh, I got it though.
can't jump over those. So it says about three seconds. Oh, it was dumb. There we go. Got it. I have that checkpoint though, that's good, right? <laughs> it's all about those checkpoints. So this is definitely one of those games that you're gonna either need to memorize and just play in one long weekend, or it's going to be one of those games where you're gonna have to keep your NES or Famicom on in the event that you get this game on cartridge. Because otherwise, it's gonna be <laughs> one of those games that Ah, uh, it's gonna... Oh, come on. Uh, I mean, all, uh, all uh, joking aside, this game is, is great. Um, and one I would highly recommend anyone that's a fan of the platformers check out. Um, uh, Eric, if you're watching this by chance, um, bravo. This game is amazing. <laughs> um, it is it is so much fun. Um, it's challenging, it's fun, it's exciting. It's everything that you I'd expect a platformer uh, back on the NES in the 90s to be. Oh, come on. Okay, alright, so I'm in there here, guys. Um, again, this has been Slow Mo on NES. Um, the ROM is available for free through rich.io. I will leave a link to download the game in the description down below. Um, this game is eventually coming to Famicom and NES on physical cartridge. And once that once that goes live, um, I will definitely leave a link to, to that in the description of the video for you guys to check out. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time. And take care and happy gaming.